Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live from ITW 2023. This is JSA TV, ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. Again, we are here, National Harbor, Maryland, right, right outside of DC. And I will tell you the buzz on this floor, guys, you can feel it, you can feel it. And I'm joined here, so excited to say, by Mr. Juan Salazar, of course, the CEO of MDC Data Centers. Juan, welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you for having me again. Uh, we are so honored, so excited, and the news keeps coming from MDC. You guys are rocking it, but for our viewers who may not already know, and we should correct this instantly, tell us a little bit about MDC. Sure, glad to. So MDC is a uh, data center provider uh, we're really focused on a particular niche, which is the U.S.-Mexico border, and that's all we do. We just, we're on the border, all the key locations. Right now, we're in McAllen, Laredo. Uh, we, we just turned up Eagle Pass, which we announced here at your show last year, uh, and then El Paso, Nogales, Arizona, and also the newest facility is in San Diego, California. So essentially now we're from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's amazing, amazing. And I don't know if there's a better partner out there to make U.S. companies feel so comfortable going into Mexico and, of course, vice versa. Uh, so incredible job what you guys are doing. But uh, do tell our, our audience here, how does the MDC Border Connect platform concept and its components and, the, of course, the MDC value proposition, how does that all facilitate more connectivity on the U.S.-Mexico border? Sure. So... Uh the, what we call the MDC, the Border Connect platform, is really uh, two parts to it. The, one of the components is the physical layer, which are actually the data centers all along the border, the U.S.-Mexico border. But then there's a, uh, I guess, a sort of GUI, if you will, that allows you to turn up locations, uh, get business for those locations. And that's just part of the whole, uh, what we call the Border Connect platform. So it's the physical layer establishing connectivity and then helping our customers find success in those data centers and not just leaving them to fend for themselves once they, they've signed out as a client. That's a big part of what MDC does. Really proud of it. Uh, we call it being actively neutral because mm -hmm. you know neutrality is a big thing for us. Mm -hmm. But we, we, I like that play on, on active and neutral. Yeah, I love that. Actively neutral. And, you know, you mentioned neutrality uh, being so critical into your data centers, a platform getting those customers to really uh, market themselves. And, uh, you know, it's a marketplace that you guys are fostering. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us specifically, how does uh, and in what ways does this platform really benefit carriers and how can uh, MDC assist in growing businesses in Mexico? Yeah. So I think the best way it does is uh, you mentioned the marketplace, which is something that we uh, do. It's a, I guess, a, a marketplace in a sense like you normally see, but ours is different in the fact that we actually put people together. We find a business, so helping our customers make their business case, and then we put those people together. But there are no, there's no agent agreements. We don't charge any commission. We don't get in the middle. We just do the presentation. And, uh, and we let people, you know, win the business. So people can log on, say, hey, I need, you know, 100 gigs uh, in El Paso or something. Then all the carriers who are customers of MDC, they get notified of that. And then they're able to, to bid for that project. And, you know, may the best man win or best woman win. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's kind of it. And we, we stay out of it, just try and add value. I love that though. You're enabling business growth within your your data centers, and it's it's beautiful, and it's it's pure, clean. That's our purpose, by the way. It's to create connections that empower people to thrive. Yeah, I love that. I love it. Um, so uh, we we spoke a little bit about it, but can you tell us a little bit more about the positive impacts on the platform, on the communities along the border particularly, uh, and what your future plans might be to go ahead and meet this evolving need of the telecom community? Yeah, so uh, I'm from the border. I'm from McAllen, born and raised. Uh, so I think the impact that it has on the low communities, normally border communities aren't, uh, we always say that we don't, we don't get the news until a week later. 
So I'm really proud that we're bringing like these high tech jobs to the border. And we partner with the different cities where we're at on the border, uh, McAllen, of course. But we do things with the Boys and Girls Club and all of that to try and promote uh, growth in our communities. So we we call that, you know, making a difference on the border. Yeah. So I think it, it and it, by the way, it works straight into our purpose. That's how we also empower people to thrive. You know, it's so critical, such a. Uh, such a critical place to be doing that too. Um, you're really making a mark, not here, not just here in our, our telecom community, but within the, the border communities. Um, I just, I'm, I'm such a big fan of MDC. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not, but where can our viewers who don't know already, they can go and learn more information? Well, uh, like I said last year, I think the JSA website, you know, your newsletter is always a good place to start, but uh, you can find us all the usual places, right? MDCDataCenters.com, LinkedIn. Uh, I think we have a Twitter. I'm not a Twitter guy, but I think we have, right, Julio? Yeah, <laughs> yes, right, yes, yes. MDCDataCenters.com for sure. Thank you so much, Juan, for taking time here. It's a busy, busy day for you. We appreciate you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. Happy networking.